Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, Monster of the East, in which we're playing as a certain lovely green nation, or at least that's hopefully what will happen, with the Twin Mothers Under Diana. Now, with this campaign, of course, custom game rules, everything's going to be set to default, random, no idea what's going to happen, and we're going to leave off historical AI focuses just because we can. So, Twin Mothers and the mods that I'm using for this campaign are the same as my Kaisos Legion 3.0 Old World Blues campaign, which include Old World Blues mod, Colored Events, Stage Chester Tool mod, and Player Lead Player Led Peace Conferences. So, let's begin with a unique focus. Look at this focus tree. It's large, it's in charge, and we got Mama Diana with us, but I was like you once. Oh, they even have a unique description. Okay, oh, does this one have a description? No, they don't. Okay, well, regardless, I was hi highly recommended to play as Diana quite a few times, and look at our starter divisions. We have some Wasteland Amazons using recurve bows, 18 combat with the infantry. We've got Forbidden Lands Defenders and Droids, in which they're both light robots, and we have Guardians of Vault 29. If you do not know, we are in Vault 29. I think we are right now. Which would be very cool, and actually the template for this is a mixture of light and heavy robots. Interesting. Now, I wish there was descriptions for the focus tree. But, you know, we do with what we do. You gotta make do with what we got. Industry. Ooh, work is needed, most definitely. Now, we're pretty advanced in some areas, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Let's go and do organized agriculture. And are we already set down a land auction? We are not. I ask that because we come over here to the tech, tech levels. We're advanced in some areas, and we're really basically tribal in other areas as well. So we're pretty not great in aircraft, naval vessels, which is fine. Vehicles, which is okay. Power armor, we don't know what that is. And we're okay with infantry, not that great. But we're pretty good on robots, right? We're pretty good on robots. We're really good on special forces. And pretty much everything else that is not just tribal. So, this is not going to be an easy campaign. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be easy. Outside of Warfare, what the heck is this? It's also free from any and all restraint. Mutants, category behemoths. This looks more like a super mutant f land doctrine. Oh my goodness. Mutants and category behemoths. That looks so cool. I have not yet explored this one yet. Reinforce rate plus 20%. Requires technology. Oh my goodness. Supplies for mutants. That looks really awesome. That's actually really cool that they got their own tree. Oh, land auction. We'll come back to that in a little bit. We can't do motorized stuff. Let's go ahead and do some division training time. Or warrior training. We have how many factories? Doesn't matter. We can only build right there. Oh, boy. That does not look good. Build up there. Build up there. 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 And then I guess around these other areas. And we have some pipe guns. We've got some commercial projectiles. Some heavy lifter robots. And we don't have enough military factories. Hmm. We got four... Uh, do we have any shippies already? Shippies? No? Okay. Well, I don't want to invest too much in ships, so goodbye. Thank you. And thank you. Only get one of those guys. It's a little disappointing that we didn't get a description for our soldiers, or for our focus, actually. That's okay. Tribal scouts? That's okay. Amazon? Or Wasteland Amazons? I'm going to go ahead and make a few divisions of infantry, because they're going to become very, very, very important eventually. Because we'll have to defend against people. Droids of Diana... Eight, let's see, 150 support robots versus Goddess's Reach. 75, 75. Now, if you know robots in Old World Blues, they take forever to make. Really just too long. So what we're going to do is make two of these at the same time. And then make one of those. For now. We'll switch this up eventually. But for now, I think that'd be okay. I'm going to send my robots down here because we can. Ooh. Oh, and don't want to forget. Do this. Oh, there's Los Alamos. I don't know where that Los Alamos was, but I guess it's down there. Route established between New Canaan for almost 12th Legion and Denarius. Cool. Oh, miscellaneous tab, trade note map, Twin Mothers, New Canaan. Current send. Oh, man. I oh, don't have enough political power to do so, which kind of sucks. But Captain 3 point update. Uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. I kind of already know how to do this. Actually, we can get one Denarius. You can look at the tutorial if you like. Go ahead. All right, the bank of the bill. And America Universalis. And then Caravans and Minivans, which we just kind of looked at a little bit. And not quite Nicolas Cage. And Honest Business. Cool. Helping hands, yes please. Sure, why not. Cool. And a quick way to get through that. So, Diana Stone, a scientist 
You want to hear of where I came from and not what I am? It is a rare one can muster the courage to ask such a question, but I can oblige your utter curiosity. I am, well, in this life, I was Diana Stone a while back before, back before the war. I got a degree at MIT before traveling out west and participating in a few governmental studies. People back then told me that I had a career path that would have put me up there with some of the greatest minds of my generation, Braun, House, you know. Really, I never saw myself working with people like that. Academia, at the time, had this certain stigma against morality, figuring that caring for the well-being of any soul was a weakness that the communists didn't have, hence something we needed to get rid of if we were going to win. It's that kind of whatever-it-takes attitude that led to vault Tech getting into that toxic, cannibalistically cyclical research headspace it ended up in. Got, I got offered a few jobs. Robco, Big MT. Honestly, turned them all down in favor of a little upstart. Greenway Hydroponics was what the company I eventually signed up for was called. Derek Greenway was per particular, but I felt like he distanced himself enough from academia where it was safe to work with them. Was the sort that understood that the vault pr project was for more than just precaution. Wow. Diana Stone, a scientist. I don't blame the others of academia. We were all scared back then. It was a constant you had to live your life when you had a certain level of understanding and could pull the curtains of America back. It was an innate fear, the idea that your life work will get washed away by the molecular heat of thousands of atomic bombs dropping over your head. Why even work when you could see what waited for you at the end of the world? It was like living on a train with no brakes, knowing that the track didn't go on forever. I remember at least from halfway through the 20, 2270s, people, academia, began to put more efforts into research based on preservation after the inevitable. Rather than trying to subvert it, at least those weren't chained by the government, having trouble, or have trouble grabbing their names, but... Braun, Calvert are a few I can remember. They all had their sweet little plots to continue as they had. Little snow globes that they could fall into as they watched the world they helped forge fall through their fingers like sand. Me, I wasn't, I wasn't like them at first. I sort of lost myself at such a prospect. I began looking into matters of the spirit and philosophy. Read Kant, Nietzsche. Eventually moved on to religion, mythology, anything I could get my hands on. I... In, my, in hindsight, may have been just a soul lashing out at the world, trying to find some framework I could find or place my mind into that could help me continue my work, my own snow globe. It was a bad experience at the start, but the cancer prognosis that really made me lose myself. Oh, man. Also, if you want to read about Diana, she has an amazing picture there, but it says that she was really, really smart, but she had breast cancer and was given little time to live. Oof. If you'd like to read about that, Go right ahead, but 10% political power, stability, war support, division, defense on core territory, and more daily compliance gain is not bad. But fate gave me, gave me a bad hand. Requires I was like you once. Man, oh man, that sounds terrible. Nursery operational. The nursery is where Diana currently lives, a hidden bunker far away from the lands of the Twin Mothers. We use a complex series of scouts and tunnels to send resources towards the Twin Mothers from this location. And the best part? The rest of the Wasteland is none the wiser as to our inhabitation here. My God in Eden, give the Twin Mothers rights to the resources in paradise. Cool. And we can't put money one here. Ruth. Anyone's good with the defense? Less supply consumption. I'm going to give you the one with the less supply consumption because that seems like that would work pretty well for robots. And inspirational, but we can't do that. Yep. And you should be alive by Akisha? Kaisha? Receptive. Max planning. Planning. Desert. And got more attack. There you go. Cool. And. I essentially stopped all of my work when the doctors told me how much time I had left. It wasn't even the world that had taken my future from me, but my own body. Suddenly, instead of being me merely distant from academia, I was shunned altogether. Went from a brilliant upcomer to someone that was shamed, someone that could have been great, but fate played a bad hand. I was a wreck. I actually got into drinking for a while, believe it or not. It takes a lot to make a lady of science voluntarily poison herself like that. Derek, my boss at Greenwood Hydroponics, was the only person who actually seemed to p take pity on me. We were kindred souls in a way, believing in how academia had fallen and failed the world as an institution in letting such a thing as this come to pass. At first, I thought his attempt at taking pity on me were mostly to give himself a way to say goodbye before the world took me. It was more than that. One night, as we were wrapping up a day, he took me by his shoulder and then whispered a few words into my ear. Miss Stone, you think fate gave you a bad hand? They gave us all a bad hand. This world is doomed and we can't change the inevitable. We can, however, make the best with the hand that we've got. We don't have to stop playing the game. We can win this game, make the world a better place, make it so that people don't have to play anymore. A better world. He then reached into his jacket pocket, pulling out a set of technical documents. They were stolen documents from Derek's time working with the government. Prototypes for some sort of Zax Robobrain hybrid, a new type of supercomputer that would be years ahead of any system currently in production. Even the highly touted standalone Zax units would pale in comparison. 
He proposed building a computer that could take a quantum leap forward by being able to pose the simplest of questions with this in mind. He devised a system that would house a human brain with each hemisphere, a logical slash intuitive, linked to a Zax unit. The human mind would have vast amounts of computation power and almost unlimited storage capacity at its disposal. Who could predict what such a mind would be capable of doing in hindsight? I imagine Derek designed the system for himself, I think, in the end he saw me using me with this as a better way to play his cards, and could direct me from outside such a machine. Of course, I only had a few months left. I gave my parents some notice and took them up on this offer. Well, when I awoke from the operation, at first I was overjoyed at the success. Sure, my arms and limbs, my body were gone, but I could see through the sensors of my machine. Sure, I had no arms. But I could reach out to robots on the network to directly control. Sure, I was of metal, but I still had a soul. It was... I was still me. As the months progressed, however, I began to doubt the wisdom of becoming a part of a machine. My heart, my hearing was acute, but too much so. I could hear into a range far above normal. It was disturbing to hear the cheering of cockroaches in the other room, the heart palpitations of Greenway interns as they walked past my metal chassis. My eyesight was perfect, but once again, too perfect. My vision showed a sharpness of clarity that made the world look unreal. The way a single strand of hair fractals and shatters at the ends. Mites digging and coating the skin, sweats ro rolling off the skin and dissolving on the floor. The most disturbing aspect overall was my lack of touch. A few years in and I missed the weight of clothing, the touch of a cool breeze. Everything that made me human was either changed or gone. They told me that I could live forever, but at what cost? It felt like a prison to me, this expanded existence. Oof, that does not sound like fun. Despite it all, I persevered. Oh, what political power do we have? Zax29, not bad. Scientific devotion, air warfare theorist, military theorist, land doctrine of 10%, or conventional warfare. We might go down that way with the manpower. I'm thinking we might go refined, though, actually. And we were, currently are here. We cannot get rid of this. Ooh. Industrial production is working at about half capacity. to take a momentous event to wake the NCR from slumber, huh? Diana Stone, a savior. I knew she had to come to grips with what I'd become. Derek, during some nights, would come into my mainframe room and just talk to me for hours. I still enjoyed communicating with Derek even after all that had happened. He explained to me how Robobrains, which essentially I was, was just expanded. Need some sort of outlet there to hold on to what made them human. I recall mentioning continuing my philosophical studies I'd done before my operation. The next morning, he came in with a holotip filled with a practical library of the world's knowledge. It gave me some comfort to roll into these delusions of grandeur and the spirits as I was installed into the nursery. At EPA, Greenhouse Project designed around being a parallel to the Vault-Tec Project, but for the fauna of the world rather than for people themselves. After all, you couldn't rebuild if you didn't have the needs you needed to probably remove mutant fauna and cultivate the world's sickened mass. It was there in the nursery that I would overhear Derek's own snow globe he prepared for himself. How he had laid out his plans to subvert Vault 29, he wanted to control the Zax Overseer installed into the facility, to use it to teach the people there a predetermined culture of primitivism, in the hopes that the culture would build, that they would build, would be different from which birthed them. I remember arguing with Derek about this, how it was immoral to deny the wealth of humanity's splendor to any individual. That was their birthright to inherit the humanity had made, faults and all. There was so much culture in the world, how right was he to say who couldn't have it? We began to drift away after that. It was only after the bombs fell that I began to lose myself. When Derek learned I wasn't willing to go along with his plan fully, he began to distance himself from me. After the radiation surrounding the nursery reached safe levels, Derek one night took his followers out and left the nursery, saying how this nursery project had become more about me than the facility itself. He entrusted me as a safeguard, told me to protect the nursery until a day when he and his followers could return, or would return, to help rebuild the wasteland. I couldn't stand the loneliness. One year, two, ten. I miss having people to talk to. A facility this massive with only the beasts to chatter with. Then it... It was then that I began to look into the connections Greenway had established before his departure with Vault 29. I I wait, or watched the people in the vault for some time, how they managed themselves, how they waited for the Zacks to speak to them. They were the only people I could watch. I rooted for them, followed the events of their little lives, thought back on how their lives reminded me of my own. Eventually, I made a choice. I wanted to go along with Derek's plan, but in my way. I wanted to help these people directly and guide them as a mother. I wanted this to be my legacy. They would treat me as a goddess, myself their savior, together. We would make the world a better place. Three political power. We can't get rid of this, which is not good for us. And we have a lot of people support. So, right now we can do My Children, which we can do a Prosperous Village, Vault 29, more computational power, or the Nursery, the Factory, the Command Station. Let's go with the Nursery. Hidden away from mankind's madness, its ambitions, and even the wasteland itself lies the Nursery. Decades of pre-war construction efforts, years of research, months of the most minute changes and refinement all led to the secret paradise, an untouched garden of Eden, and the last serene place in the wasteland. Now before we continue, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do here. We have an economics expert, which is not bad. Economy and trade laws... Oh, well, there's economy and trade, but we can't really do much there. 
military factory construction speed, civilian construction speed, resource efficiency gain in construction speed. Uh, this stuff is okay. Gunrunner, chop shop opinion. Uh, cultural advisors, person in the community. Uh, how much political power do we get in what day? That's not bad. 1.74. Okay. You know what? I'm going to choose this, this person anyways. We're almost at roughly 2. We got point two, oh, about point two more so. I can't really complain about that. The penitentiary. What happened to my painted men? Man, where are my painted men? Where's the naked men? I think it was painted men. Yeah, we don't think about naked men, but painted men. Ooh, scorpions bite here too. <clears throat> oh man. And what decisions do we have? Invest stimulus, huh? Operations. Simulation training. Space survey. Deep Space Survey. Oh. Now let's go ahead and do, close this one out. And Vault Tech Calling. That's... Oh, we already have the followers here, so let's go ahead and get do this. Temple Diana, that'll be good. Ooh, Research Speed. Do we need more water? Do we have... Oh, we got plenty of water. Follower Aid. Stockpiles. How much is that? It's only 10. Let's grab some more of that. We might need that in the future, so it's best to be ready. Train. Do that. Diana, who do you hire as an admiral? C cube droid. Really? You're gonna lose that type of stuff? That's not cool. Well, we got more of this now. Mm, research advisor. I'm not. I'm really not sure which type of land auction we should go. Conventional warfare. I'm kind of rooting right now. Conventional warfare is nice, and you do get more manpower. But robots. I'm thinking I'm gonna go robots. It's been a while since I've actually used robots, so. Domino.exe. Our organized agriculture? Don't mind if we do. Get some more seed selection. Yeah, I'll probably go refined warfare. Just because with the technology, we can't go that far down with infantry stuff. We can barely go, like, up to basic laser weaponry. With robots, though, we can go all the way over here. And hopefully, maybe, we might even get some scurry bots, maybe? I don't know. Or the C-22s. Humanoid combat platform. Which look really, really cool. They're pretty hard. And they have 25 armor, which is okay. Not great, but okay. Mm, stuff is all a little bit ahead of time. Uh, get some gliders, too. We definitely won't have the industry for what we need, though. Mm. Which is not ideal, but managing the nursery. The nursery is a miracle of the pre-war engineering. It is a self-contained, balanced, ecological system set within a deep canyon. The valley floor of the canyon is rife with the flora and fauna of times past. At the head of the valley is a lake of crystal blue water that feeds the river. The river flows from one end of the valley to the other, disappearing into the canyon wall. Bordering the lake are several buildings that house the maintenance equipment that keeps the nursery functioning. The nursery is where Diana lives from where she can protect or project herself to Vault 29 within Twin Mother's territory and lead the tribe. The nursery is not located within our own territory at the start of the game. It is located deep within Black Canyon territory, within the state of Paradise. The location of the nursery is so secret that the Black Canyon Raiders do not even know of our existence there. Managing the nursery is practically a full-time job for Diana. Hover over your nursery idea to get a complete tool of explaining the various factors involved with managing the nursery. Must I bother? This is so boring. <clears throat> and we gotta do it with my children. But the factory, more power. I like stability, but I'm kind of interested in this computational power. Oh, we have the repository too. What? Ooh. One sample of DNA. Oh, we get another research slot. Ooh. Where do we get more DNA? Come fly with me. Wait, we actually get scientific air tech? Cool. Let's do the factory first. A fully automated wonder, able to manufacture even a legendary geck. It is connected to every corner of the nursery via an expensive system of trucks, trains, and even AI man vertebrates. Bringing it back online is essential to our efforts, and will let us even terraform the waste into its pre-war state with enough time. Now, let's come back over here and check out the nursery. Ah, here it is. The control facility operations, Diana's computational strength, 18%. Gives you more political power, growth, max factories, and production efficiency. Satellite network size is 12. We control a network of space satellites working together in unison. The network size gives the following benefits. Decryption, air interception, attack, uh, air range, air accidents factor, air weather penalty factor, and air night penalty factor. Orbital decay route 1.2. Every year our satellite network will suffer decay due to solar radiation, orbital decay, and debris collision. The rate of de de decay increases as our network grows larger. Oh man. The factory operations, terraforming effects, locked. The repository operations, stored DNA, uncollected. That looks really awesome. Holy cow. Wowzers. <laughs> Some say Wowzers and Bowsers, but, you know, not just me. 
What was that? Who did we get over here? Oh, beginner scavenging program. Uh, we might as well, right? All I know is that I want to get a lot of defense on core territory because someone named Lanius might come try to kill us later off. Ooh, less defense. I don't want less defense for now. That would not be ideal. Ooh, Tim's tanks, Wheel Mothers, Garage, Planes. Anything else here? Warmonger. I like the population growth and the recruitable population factor. Just if I will on us, it goes way faster. We're probably going to get this guy eventually. Friends in high places. we got to be elite for that. <sighs> Economy laws. Trade laws. Well, that's okay. Conscripts. Old world infrastructure. I want to build stuff faster. So I guess I'll go with Captain of Industry for now, maybe. Uh, Trisha is okay. Oh, we can't remove her. She likes her position and won't relinquish it anytime soon. Yeah, she does act skittish if you bring up Kaisar's Legion. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Could use more war support, but is it... It's not going down, which is good. I thought for some reason it was. Cool. After that, you know what? Let's get... We're getting some more computational power, which would be nice. A paintbrush for the waste. You get a bonus to researching stuff. We unlock a coring dice, which is a 1D100. Every time we core a state, we shall roll the dice and gain an effect based on the result. To add effects to the die, complete focuses within this branch. Whoa. That's kind of wild, I'm not going to lie. Powering production, more computational power. Powers of the earth, construction power of the atom. Permanent 8% reduction in coring costs, more electricity, air doctrine. Ooh, renewable energy doctrine, rising waters, more power, power, power. Ecological imbalance. Oh, my goodness. Powers needed. Gain one geck we can use them to improve our lands. The repository. I kind of want to do that. What's over here? Requires the repository. It has at least 30 computational power. More political power. Is there anything below that? Yes. Yes. Memories of the prisoners. Memories of family. What's over here? New casings. More political power. Not oh, political power and computational power. Radar. Space. Survey. Defending the command station. Robotics. Support combat robot subroutines. There's so much over here. What do we do first? More manpower for a while. Threats from the wasteland. Viking assist the tribe. A prosperous village. I'm not... I, I really don't know. But let's just go ahead and do... The command station. At the heart of the nursery, the command station lies. A state-of-the-art mainframe manned by advanced robo-brains in the processes. Billions of lines of information and strategical intel in its mainframes. Bringing it back online and properly integrating it into our command will considerably help our future efforts. I mean, I love getting all this extra political power, but it takes so long to go to war with people. If we go to war with anyone, that wouldn't be good. I mean, obviously, defending shouldn't be too god-awful, but you never know. The only one we can really go to war with would be the Circle Junction. And we can't even do that because we need more world tension against Alkaya. Alkaya? Huh. Work is needed. That's good for us. You know. Let's see. That's a little bit ahead of time. Resources are looking pretty good. Maybe multi-purpose equipment because that's usually pretty good to do. Got some gliders. Uh, get some bomb gliders because that ground attack is too good to pass up. And what is this? Organized Military Society. Less caps income, but way less caps expenses. More passive caps income? Sure. Yeah, why not? Invest in small businesses. More construction speed factory output. Cool. 100% stability. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, the Phoenix Republic. Oh, they must have risen up. Well, good for them. They d they're dead now. Oh my goodness, we need so many robots. At least we're getting more army XP, which is nice, and more naval XP, but... How long will that last? Actually, how's this looking? Seed selection, not bad. Ooh, engineering, let's grab some of this. Combat language would be good. Let's see, is it trade note, economic mode, four infrastructure development level? Hey, we actually made a division? Ah, yeah, cool. That'd be good. Shale's army declared war on carbon. Well, that's good. Yeah, so usually when I make or use robots, I want to keep a few normal infantry divisions just because I think they're pretty useful. Uh, what do we want here? Probably outside our auxiliaries, but we don't really need that right now. 
Standard wages. Distress outsiders. We can't get rid of this. Oh, man. There's really not much we can do with this stuff. We can try this. We get so much political power. It doesn't matter anyways. Major businesses. Just go get this guy. So we can build things up maybe a little bit faster. That'd be kind of cool. Command station. And the command station. Uh, defending the command station. New casings. Uh, ensure to continue connection. Because maybe we want to go do hijacked additional satellites as fast as possible. Research digital, digital data links, huh? Well, stability is always good, even though we already have enough. Settler air attack. Well, let's try this. The Twin Brothers tribe is a very important ally of ours, which sometimes needs our help. Sadly, as of now, it is difficult to communicate properly with all of them, as well as supply them. As such, our mainframe shall develop ways for us to simply airlift supplies and new ways to keep in contact with them. Cool. It seems like we can obviously research things pretty darn quickly, which is nice. Ooh. We lost some manpower, which is not good. So, lower us by one, then. We gotta save some manpower. We really, really do. Actually, how many... How much, oh, we got quite a few coins. None nearly as much as we'd like to, but that's okay. Definitely want more. Hopefully we can build enough civilian factories where the minus 50% to, from our national spirit doesn't hurt us too much. You guys looking 20.5, not bad, not bad. Peace and love, that really hurts our justify world goals time, even though we can't even justify on other people right now, whatever. And the followers influence, which... It is what it is, you get more research speed, which is pretty good. You get stability, lose war support, more monthly population, minus 5% political power, which is fine. We only get 6 people a month, so it's really not that much. The Reclamation Authority, great. Payload bombs. We could do that, but nah. Cybernetics, I'm not sure what we can do down here. We get some implants, apparently. I remember using those from New Vegas quite a bit. I don't think we can do much here. Crowd control? Might as well, right? Might as well. 16 days... Yeah, it would be good. So, let's do the next one, and how about we go back and do this side? My children. My children remember that their youth, or I remember the youth as if it was yesterday. All those years ago, still underground and desperate for guidance in those dark times, I ordered Zax to teach them the ways of the world, of peace and respect for nature as well as life, of the goddess Diana's return to guide them pro to prosperity. And so I did return, to lead them into this new age. Cool. Can't wait to do this one, which we can do very soon. And we will do that one next. Encryption. Very cool. And next up, we shall choose... War support's not bad. You know what? Let's try this guy out. Po monthly population and recruitable population factor. Do we get it at least up to seven? Okay, we don't. Hmm. My children. And settler air attack, huh? Shane choir, people are killing each other. Oh, look at all this shell batch. So, Settler Air Tech. Hey, we actually got up there. Nice. So, that's what it was. We got up to here. Not bad. We get even better tech? Seems kind of appropriate if we're a very, quite an advanced nation. It only makes sense if we can get even more advanced. Flexible designs. I suppose the next one we could do some of this stuff. If, but we're going to do ahead of time stuff. We might as well put it to as best use as possible. We're doing that already. Land doctrine. Yeah, I'm thinking refi autom automated warfare. Automated warfare. Just because we're using robots, I think that'd be probably be pretty good. Hopefully I make the right choice here. Go ahead and train. That'd be fine. Need more infantry equipment now. That sucks. But whatever. Let's see. Agricultural experts. Research speed. More support equipment. We could use it eventually for something. Eh, go ahead and spend. It's only 10 political power. That'd be fine with us. Send our manual prospectors. We need more infantry equipment. Which makes sense. Political bribes. Nah, we good. Invest in small businesses. We good. Matrons. Cool. The rapids were annexed pretty quickly. So, eh, war sports not bad. We have 34% world tension, which is not too bad. Eight days left. Cool. Crowd control. Organized military society. I think so far, technologically, we're doing pretty darn well. Obviously, there's not a whole lot happening right now, but it is what it is. I just hope that Lannis does not come up north too quickly, because that would not be very good for any of us. Organized military society. Oh my goodness, what do we unlock? Construction speed? Oh yeah, sign me up immediately. Ar Army piercing. AT rifle master. Okay. Why not? My children, we shall get reference manuals. Very good. 
Next up, Prosperous Village, Vault 29, more computational power, power of the matter of Zax 29, increase autonomy, reduce autonomy. Tribe Steward, assuming drug control. Vault 29, let's try that. The Holy Relic of the Twin Mothers Tribe, Vault 29, still contains the history of its pre-war origins. Many secrets are hidden within its underground corridors and still serving to this day at its core as a powerful supercomputer, Zax 29. We should make sure to upgrade the vault's connection to Diana and the nursery to make, probably make use of its vast processing capabilities. Pretty good. And we're probably going to get paid soon. Yep. 20.5% computational strength. Slightly more political power. And production efficiency. We got enough political power for this again. Cool. Yeah. Spy master is cool. This is cool. Frontline operative is cool. 10% defense on core territory. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going. We're going. We're going to need that. Because I'm going to try to resist the Legion. We'll see how that goes. But it's probably not going to go very well. And sometimes maybe that's just okay. I just hope that if they attack me, I can defend properly and these robots don't die too quickly. For the love of God, I hope not. Any other decisions? We really care about dismantle scavenging and mess small businesses, hire follower agricultural experts. We could. I like getting the extra building slot actually, but do we really need that? Probably not, but we've got some reference manuals to use, which are very nice pieces of equipment. Just go and grab resistors. It's less than 100 days. I think that's okay. Troll Warren. That's got about 12 days left for the focus, which is fine. Let's go and do Thresh from the Wasteland. Oh, a prosperous village because we can. Twin mothers composed of the descents of descendants of Vault 29's resident, as well as Diana's children. As a peaceful and happy tribe prospering under her guidance, they, however, cannot stay innocent forever. We must make sure to prepare them against the harshest of the wastes, which... After this, we'll probably go back to the left side of the focus tree just to get a couple of things more done because with extra political power now, I'm not exactly sure what to do with it. We can't get rid of Trisha. I mean, she's cool and all, but attrition expert, army logistics, it's okay. Hey, look, factory, not factory, robot. Wow, it's a robot. Landing score declared one archdiocese of Santa Fe, which is not good because they're right there, so. Oh no. That's not good. Over here, Chief of the Army, Town Defender, Defense on Core Territory, more Max Entrenchment. Yes. Immediately go and grab that person. Ooh. Intelligence Agency. Three civilian factories. Office of Voice and Information. OWI. That's not bad, and I'm really glad they actually updated this. That's really cool. And the American Eagle. Ooh. We'll probably just go with. Not Death Claws. I'm not really sure. This one, maybe? Sure, why not? Let's create the agency. That name seems pretty fitting, I think. Unless you guys suggest another name that which, which would fit better. So we got 12 days for a prosperous village. What if we did the repository next? The repository, a secondary wing of the factory, is a DNA database it uses to manufacture the numerous biological components needed to provide for the nursery. Expanding it further and allowing for tertiary wings dedicated to new samples as well as active research could open new avenues of research into wasteland fauna and flora, which would be pretty darn good. And we're almost there with the Prosperous Village. Come on. We're almost there. There we go. That's a lot of political power, not gonna lie. You guys go ahead and train. Make one more and then we'll be done with the building up those guys. Because manpower... Well, maybe we can wait just a little longer. Maybe go to four. Maybe four. There we go. I'll, I'll give it to four. Chief of the Air Force Flyboy. We could. Let's go with Outsider Battalions, though. Lowers our stability. We do get more daily compliance. That'd be kind of nice. Construction. Hey, this we got five. That's not bad. Hopefully we can improve ourselves more, 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 more. Economic advisor, gun runners, fuel boy, chop shop. Construction speeds only two percent. That's just really not worth it. Oh, man. Oh, do we actually have someone down here though? Maybe. No. That's disappointing. Oh, wait, we need to. Own Poston. Oh, okay. No. Major businesses. Hmm. Infrastructure. Ooh, mastery. Nice. I like this stuff. Static anti-air damage. Infantry defense. We are using some infantry, so let's go and get that person. And happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's grab some 
smoke signals, and di diplomacy distance. Oh, that's new. But regardless, we shall end today's episode there. But I do have a question for y'all. On screen right now, there should be a little bit of an image and maybe a Discord symbol in which I I shall ask you guys to come to my Discord server if you haven't already and vote for Oct November 2020's campaign uh, on my Discord server poll. Uh, the link is in the description, the first link in the description, but regardless, if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, in which we shall continue expanding and learning about the Twin Mothers, and expanding Diana's grasp over the satellites, and hopefully the wasteland. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.